The Poco F1 continues to be one of the hottest mobile phones in 2019 and offers amazing performance and features at its price. In this short tutorial, a guide to unlock the bootloader, root and add different modules like electronic image stabilization in 4K and how to install a custom ROM. And yeah, this tutorial will work for most Xiaomi smartphones. Let's get started! Before you can do any kind of flashing, you need to unlock the bootloader. It represents something like a manager for all the partitions on the phone. Most manufacturers restrict access to it as a precaution, which keeps inexperienced users from creating a mess and limits the impact of security threats. So if you are not absolutely sure you want to do it, better drop this video and check some of the other reviews on the channel, like the more detailed Poco F1 presentation and test. There is a difference in the way MIUI-based devices get their bootloader unlocked as of 2019. Used to be a procedure involving receiving an email containing the unlock code and now it is much simpler. Just download the Mi Unlock app and follow the procedure. Know that once you manage to run the app, it will add you to a waiting list and this might take up to 72 hours until you have the permission to unlock. Another note, this procedure will most likely void your warranty and will erase all your phone data. So make sure to have a backup prior to starting. So that's how it works. Run the app, shut down the phone, hold the volume down key and press the power button while still holding the volume down key and you will enter fast boot mode. After your phone gets analyzed, you will get a notification about how long exactly you need to wait. And you have to use the same procedure as soon as the waiting time is over. And your bootloader is ready. With an unlocked bootloader, you can do pretty much anything with the phone. Let's go for routing. Easiest way to install it is via a custom recovery. This is something like a pre-boot environment where you can execute various useful commands. There is stock recovery used for updating and resetting, and there is the custom recovery to add features like mounting file systems, creating a backup of everything, including app settings and many, many other options. To launch a custom recovery, you need to download it first, and a link to the most popular one, TWRP, is to be found in the description below the video. We also need a command line tool. Let me use minimal, ADB and fastboot. For those of you who prefer graphical user interface, there are alternatives and I will put links to these as well. First things first, enable developer options on the phone. This will unlock the menu to access Android's debugging, in short, ADB. And this is what the minimal ADB and fastboot app we just installed is primarily used for. Make sure the device is properly connected by typing the command ADB devices. If you see a prompt on your phone, accept it. Before we go further, make sure to download the root installer. We will use the most popular one, namely Magisk. It is well maintained and offers outstanding features. You can place it in any folder of the phone as long as you can remember the exact location. I will place it in the folder called ROM with another few mods. Once you're ready, return to minimal ADB and fastboot. Type ADB Reboot Bootloader and this will restart the phone with attempt to boot into fastboot. From there things are easy. We will type a command to launch the custom recovery. I have downloaded and renamed the needed file and placed it on my computer in the minimal ADB and fastboot folder because it is the easiest to use location. And we type the command fastboot boot pocorecovery.img. Give it a few seconds and here it is. That was easy, wasn't it? All of that took us like a few minutes and you can boot the custom recovery using the command every time you need it or rewrite the original recovery with the custom one if you prefer to. Time to gain root. Go to the install menu and locate the magic zip file that we prepared a bit earlier. Done. After you reboot, your phone is rooted and you can fine tune the settings from the Magis Manager app. There are options to hide it for particular apps that don't like it. For example, this app, iCart, doesn't run if root is detected. Hide root for it and it is now working. We will use the Magis Manager to add one very important feature to the Poco F1, electronic image stabilization in 4K. 
a feature I truly need, and I have been using it a lot for the past few months. Pocophone developers were promising it for a while, but it is still not here. We at least just got the promised 60 frames per second in early April, which were promised to be part of the January update, at least something. It makes me think that the Poco F2 is knocking on the door and looks like the developers might be busy with it. Anyways, to add these functions, download the necessary modules and install them. It is all happening from the Magisk Manager and quite easy. A reboot is needed after the installation so that the settings can take effect. If you start digging in XDA developer forums, the best place to share and exchange knowledge and information about your favorite device with other people, you will be able to discover a whole bunch of modules, some of which are extremely helpful. Lastly, I want to teach you how to make a Nandroid backup and how to install a custom ROM. An Android backup is something like a snapshot of your phone's partitions without the SD card portion that you use for storing files, and it is the best kind of a backup. Use the skill we learned a few minutes ago and boot into TWRP recovery. From there, go to backup and initiate one. A full backup is being captured for a few minutes, and you can use it as a restore point in case you mess something up, or in case you install a new ROM and you don't like it and you want to go back to the previous which is a good opportunity to say a few words about installation of a custom ROM. Not much different from installing the root zip package, with the difference that it will take a little longer and the first boot of the new ROM is as well slow, sometimes up to 5 minutes. Many Poco users say that the Pixel Experience ROM is quite good, so maybe it is worth trying. That's all about today's tutorial. I hope it was easy enough to understand. We just covered how to unlock the bootloader, how to root, add electronic image stabilization in 4K and guidance on backup and custom ROM installations. It takes a lot of practicing to master these skills, so be patient. Should you have any questions, our community is already more than 28,000 subscribers, so you will definitely get some help if you seek for such. Be careful because flashing can become addictive and often brings new life to your device no matter what kind. It's been a great pleasure, my name is Michael and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.